Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Techie Tech Neons. My name is Abhavya and today I will tell you about a very simple error. The error is error colon relation, the table name does not exist. When you try to insert records to your uh, database, the table uh, in your PSQL, it doesn't work. So there may be many reasons. I will give you some solutions. They may work for you or they uh, may not work for you. It depends on the, the reason why the code is failing. For me, it didn't work and I will tell you uh, why it didn't work. So first of all, the first solution I will tell you if this error uh, is there or you can see that the data is not being pushed, then do one thing. If, if your PostgreSQL is already uh, on in your system it's open close it completely quit it then again start it give your master password then connect to the database see that you will get a message on the right hand side that the server is connected the database is connected you can run a simple select query there and check it do the uh, very first thing as this one for the solution the second problem may be the way you have created the table Maybe the name what you have given is exactly not the name which is required to insert the queries. So I will show how you should create one table so that once you have any HTML forms from where you need to send the data to the database, then in that case, how you should actually create that table so that it could go simply through an insert query. The rows can be inserted, the rows can be deleted, updated, anything. I will show only you uh, only the example for the insertion but if you want me to uh, make the video on updation deletion and other queries also you can comment it below so i will make on it on them this is postgres uh, so this was the table we created in our previous video going inside the database and uh, again schemas and then tables and then creating the table from here we created it like this and now when we uh, see the values and I also inserted the values from here. So when I see the values, it comes like this. This is null because I uh, didn't give the first value in the first case. No problem with the schema and all. So like this we are getting. And now uh, we try to get this data through the Node.js code. And we got the answer. So I will run this query. And now I want to insert some value in that student table. So let's try this one. What you see now is the first part of our code ran properly showing the values here. But the second part failed. It says error relation public to student does not exist. This means it is looking for a table whose name is public.student inside codes. So what I will try is just giving out student and not it inside codes so that it works. Let's see. Again it gave out error. So like saying that this again does not exist. So I may uh, try giving a variable like uh, constant table name equals to public.student. Uh, in quotes and then giving the table name here but that will also give you the same error so what should we do then if this is the problem then the problem is inside your table the first solution is this the creation of your table how you have created the second solution is working on the statement and trying to make it correct so I will go for the first one correcting your table if the table creation is in your hands so please uh, Create a table as I'm showing you. Otherwise, if the table creation is not in your hands, you will have to look for the second solution. Uh, the first one worked very well for me. I created a table form like this. You can see create table form. There is nothing as such as public dot form or public dot inside double quotes form is written. No, it is simple create table form giving the uh, values of the column and the data type. Also, it gives you a free hand that whatever data types you really want, you can select it. And then I will run the select query. So when I uh, run the select query,
now when i run the select query you can see the values here okay and now i will try to insert some data inside it let me comment this one or should i do something like this and just run it it ran successfully now i will run my select query to see the results and now you can see five rows are there but what i want is this a select should be performed from the node.js code and this insertion should also be performed from the node.js code and the final output what i want is from my forms the html forms the data should be uh, directed to my database to the table so what i will do not using this one yeah remember to create these okay use the require function to call pg and then the connection string username your password do not use at the rate in your password that also gives out connection error and because at the rate is just mentioned before local host is a part of a syntax so don't use at the rate and uh, the database name or everything i've told you about the connection in detail in the previous video please go and watch it if you have not watched and now the string uh, the code snippet will be this one remember to give the connect query before starting your uh, your query and then the end when your query work has been completed these two points also give out error in your connection so i will save this one and give anything else something and save it and now i try to run it See, it ran successfully. Okay, this was the previous code error, and now it ran successfully. We will go to this one and just refresh it again. You can see a new row has inserted. The error you saw was from the previous run and not from the this one. Now I want to see the table. So just. Give your form now. You are now you will see, I think, more than here. You will get six rows, but here you will get seven because insertion was after the select query. So, like this, my solution is that the problem was in your table creation and not in your code the second solution is also this that you can correct your code the insert statement you can figure out various ways giving double quotes not giving double quotes giving single quotes putting it in between the double quotes uh, those single quotes like many things you can try but for me this worked very quickly and i will suggest this method so in the next process, uh, video we will proceed towards sending of data from my html form to the this database thank you for watching my video if you liked it if it really worked out for you please give it a like or share it with your friends maybe it will work out for them this uh, solution and subscribe to my channel